guys, we have our February 2021 20, boxy charm. It's upside down. <laughs> and we're going to see what goodies are inside. It's Valentine's Day today. Happy Valentine's Day, my love. Thanks, babe. <laughs> All right. All right. So you have the card, which you promptly dropped. Wonderful. Love that for us. Go. You get to open that. Is it brushes? I think it, it's brushes. It is brushes. This right here is your Glamier Pink Lux Glitter Eye Brush Collection. Glittery, enchanting, and fun. This set features four essential eye brushes. Ultra Soft Duo Synthetic br Bristles make blending easy and flawless. We also included the noisiest packaging <laughs> in the world. It's so hard to get off. Oh, that's cute. It's like pink glitter. I've not heard... Oh, oh is it that smell? Stinks. <laughs> I've not heard of this brand before, but I appreciate that it's... Oh, those actually look cool as hell. It's got That's the little so falling cute. thing in them. Oh my god, look at that. I love it. And the brushes are white and it looks like they have like a pink tinge on the end that is not picking up on camera. Looks like we got a very stubby little packing brush, an angled brush and two blending brushes. I'm trying to get them out of the plastic. Sure. Sure, we'll go it's with that. It's just, there's a lot of plastic in this packaging, but there we are. Oh my god, how cute! I love it. <laughs> Do you love your... Are there little plink, they're little pink glitter hearts in there, aren't mm -hmm. they? Oh, that's so cute. Entertainment for hours. Thanks, ADD. I love it. It's going to take her twice as long to do her makeup. Yeah, now. absolutely. Because she's going to be like this. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Probably. All right, so next thing is that right there. This is uh, Saturday Skin. It's the Yuzu Vitamin C Sleep Mask, a lightweight mask that works while you sleep to deliver moisture while targeting the look of aging, dullness, pores, stress, and texture. Check, 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 and check. I have all of those. Oh, it this has a unique, little scoopy. This unique jelly texture mask is crafted with yuzu fruit, which contains three times more vitamin C than any other citrus. So apparently there is something called yuzu fruit. We learn something new every day. There she is. I'm excited about that. Yay. I'm obviously not going to be using that right now because... We're going to do sleepy time mask tonight. <laughs> All right, Valentine's Day treat for both of us. I like. I have limited skin. You can put that on. You can still like. Through my forehead. Do your forehead. <laughs> do your eyes. Your Why nose. do I have bags under my eyes? I don't know. Are is they it, designer? Is it because I'm old? Yes. Here you go. Uh, take that one. This is the Trestique. I've not heard of that one. Yet. I've, I haven't heard of any of the products we've been using so far. Trestique, I Duo, Good Vibes Mascara, and Eye Pencil. I've, an is eye there opening supposed duo, to be an end on this? An eye opening duo for gorgeously defined eyes. Good Vibes Mascara is the first mascara to combine a lash curler and mascara in one product. The Eye Pencil, formulated to for sensitive eyes, features a, luxur a luxurious, versatile gel formula. This pencil glides on like a liquid, but provides pencil precision. So there's the mascara. And you said the top is an eyelash curler? It is an eyelash curler. Oh! Oh my gosh! How do you use it? Hold on. Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. It's like a little guillotine. Is there supposed to be an end on this? Is that where your brain goes? Yes. <laughs> Yes, your brain, that's where my brain goes. Your brain goes to French Revolution. Uh, I don't think. I don't think so. I don't see an end in here. That. Why would you do that? I don't know. How? I'm in confusion. Oh, there's a little blendy on the end of the eyeliner, but like. Oh wait, this is the end. This is the end, isn't it? Is it? What's happening? 
Is this the eyeliner? No. Like she looks to Can me, you help? She looks to me like I'm gonna know these things. Can you open it? Oh, so that faked me out. Does it not look like that's supposed to be the end it of the comes eyeliner? Off. I didn't know. I, just do my eye makeup real quick. I was gonna be like, that's very unhygienic. But I guess that's a cute design. It's a mechanical eyeliner, and the end of it looks like well, a pencil it's, liner. It's a gel, so it's supposed to be better. Why is the dog yelling? There's our dog. Yeah. Um. Next thing. Saint Lux. All uh, right. This is the Saint Lux Beauty Limited Edition Liner Duo. This lip liner duo, duo makes lip shaping easier than ever. With a creamy, long-lasting, and hydrating formula, the liner smoothie glides on lips and blends with little to no effect. Achieve a fuller look by overlining lips just above the natural lip line to get a plump, kissable look. Why do these feel like they're expensive? So these two things say new launch, so I think they're new pro products. Oh, okay. Well, that's the, la nice. the last two things, the or I'm, I'm sorry, the glitter eye brush collection, and this uh, both say new launch on them. So. So there's one that's more like a pink tone, and the other one's more like a deeper brown toned. Ooh, what's that? Hmm? Is it a palette? It, it's the, it's a tiny little palette. That's making me very angry. Okay. This is the Wander Beauty Getaway Eye and Face Palette. Your go-to palette for the perfect getaway, Oops. featuring six highly pigmented shadows, a blush, and a highlighter, enriched with a blend of hy hyaluronic, did mm -hmm. I say that right? Yeah. Acid and mango seed butter. To help hydrate skin while reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Mango seed butter. I mean, it's kind of boring. I'm not going to lie. It looks like it's just like an accent thing. Like it's not like the main event. I mean, it could be the main <laughs> event if what you're looking for is a really simple, really simple eye look. And you're not really adventurous with color. The packaging feels nice. It's like a texture. It's sturdy too. Yeah. It's cardboard, but it's that nice, sturdy cardboard. So that's exciting. See this right here? Nice, sturdy cardboard. I'm not, like, blown away by the palette, obviously, because I like a lot of color. I was about to say, I got you the James Charles palette. You will never find... You're never... No other palette's ever going to ma match up to that thing. Well, it's the, the Violet Voss, the neon one I have, the 80s vibe mm -hmm. one. I love that one because it's so bright and there's so many things you can incorporate that into and this seems like it would be good, you know, to pack on a trip or something. You don't need to have well, an and, additional blush and, and a highlighter with and you. That, and that's what the description says. It's more like an on-the-go kind of thing. Yeah, but like I don't do my makeup on the go. Well, I mean, you remember when we that in North Carolina for like a We don't go wedding. anywhere. Well, we're not it's allowed to go anywhere anymore. So, I mean, like, I, I guess, you know, whenever that stops being a thing, I could definitely put that to use. But also, I, I need bright colors in my life. That's, it's so boring. But I'll give it a shot. I've heard nice things about that brand. And I'm going to try everything out and see how it goes. I'll see you guys in, like, one second. I'm going to disappear. And... Okay, I guess first um, I'm going to try out this eyelash curler, if I can get it to open the way. There we go. I'm, I'm a little nervous. Why do I feel like this is just going to pinch a whole lot, but I'm going to try it out. I have my mirror here. No. I hate this. I hate it. This is not... Because it's so small, it's pushing my other eyelashes right into my eyes. Is it curling them? A little bit. Is it worth it? I, I just don't... I don't think so. 
and the amount of panic it's causing is not worth it. I mean, are my eyelashes in there? Yeah. Am I going to be able to get this in the inner corner? No. I don't like this. No. No. Just no. I can't see. I don't like it. I feel like it's getting just the eeny beeny little parts of my eyes and I'm not a fan. This is not a selling point for me. No, thank you. I'm going to prime my eyes. I'll be right back. Ah, that gave me anxiety. Like so much anxiety. All right. Eyes are primed. I'm feeling a little better from that eyelash curling experience. So the only matte colors are this one and this one. So I'm thinking use one in my outer corner, use one for a transition co color. And then like, I guess we're going to have a lot of shimmer today, which is great. Uh, let's see. Upon further inspection, I realized that this is like a little, it looks kind of like a little chisel brush, like a little liner. So I don't, maybe I'll save that for my lash line. This is just so cute. I love this so much, but I think I'll, I'll use that at the end maybe to smudge out my lower lash line or something. And then I guess use this just to pack the color on. I have my color switch sitting right here so I can use that. I just want to give, you know, as much as I can to the brush set to see how it works. So I want to primarily use that on my eyes, but there's just like not enough types of brushes that I'm really going to be able to use all of them. Like, I don't know that I'm really going to use this one. Like, I don't, I don't know where I could use it. Maybe I could use it for my brows. Who knows? But we're going to try this packer brush that is a bit larger than what I would typically use just because, you know, little tiny eyes, you got to use little tiny brushes. The one I typically go to is this one, which is a lot denser. Like this seems a little more flimsy. This has eyeshadow all over it, so don't judge me, but this is more of a dense brush. So we'll see how it goes. Um, use that darker color and it picks up really nicely. This looks like it's a pigmented boy and just pat that. These are nice shadows so far. I like how that's applying. And let's see if we can build that up a little bit. Yeah, it's buildable. It's nice. Is it shimmery? No, that's just me. I'm just paranoid. Also, I primed my eyes as usual with the pretty vulgar that I'd gotten a while back just because I don't really have any other eyeshadow primers and why do I really need to buy them at this point? Because I might get one in my boxy. I think, you know, once this one's all tapped out, then I will end up buying one, but not now, especially since I don't really do a lot of eye makeup during the week because it just doesn't make sense right now at my medical job to be putting a whole lot of eyeshadow on. I don't even usually typically do mascara because I've been having a lot of flare ups with my eyes, which means I have to put a lot of eye drops in and that gets messy and everywhere if you have makeup on. So, you know, make my life a little easier. Just walk around wearing my brows fully painted and no one sees the rest of your face anyways, cause you're wearing a mask. So it's, I mean, it's fine. So this is, it is applying really nicely. I do like the formula. I would really like to try other colors if the eyeshadows are this quality because it is nice. I am happy with it. The color's not bad either. I do really like this tone of brown, which is a weird thing to come out of my mouth. So I'm not really into neutral colors at all, but it's pretty. I like it. Is it even? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Not going anywhere. I'm going to... I wanted to give just an initial, you know, first impression how I like the shadows. I'm going to do the rest of my eyes off camera, come back, and then I'll probably finish up my lash line and everything. Try the mascara, the eyeliner, the lip liners, and uh, yep, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I used the 
powdery. I used that lighter brown as the transition. I used that darker brown in the outer and inner corner. I think I'm going to do a halo eye. I figured I'd pop back on to show how the shimmer works and also like look at this little face. Look at this little face. Hello. This is Dobby. How cute are you? You're so cute. Wash that little hand. So I'm going to go in with this rose gold in the middle. I'm going to use my finger because shimmers just in the past don't work for me on brushes and I'm not trying to, you know, not have this look be cohesive. So, oh wow. I like that. That's really cute. I like the consistency. Thanks. All right. So my a-L-E-X-A here, if you say their name, they come to life, is just spying on me, but at least she knows that I think she's cute. Creepy. Creepy robots in my house. I like this shimmer a lot. I think I might actually... This is so hard to do. You're balancing your hand on your mouth and you keep talking. I think I might do the gold in the middle as well, just to give it a little more pop. My eyes are definitely not the same shape right now and it's throwing me off because I have an eye disease and I happened to flare last night and my eyes swelled so that's great and painful. So this gold up here I'm just going to put on, sir could you not? I'm going to put it on the middle just to give it a little bit more dimension. So we'll see how these layer on each other really wish I wasn't touching my eye right now, but got the boxy charm and you just want to play with everything. Yeah, that's cute. It layers up nicely. I tapped it in. We'll see, you know, how much fallout there will be. Do your cats like to sit behind you and just randomly have guitar solos while you're trying to do stuff? I think I might actually even take that up a little bit higher. I have hooded eyes and I don't want anyone to miss the sparkle and by anyone I mean the people in my house because I'm not going anywhere. But, you know, whatever. Yeah, cute. I like it. We'll see if this travels everywhere all over my face. I'm going to do fake lashes as per usual. And it's always interesting to see at the end of the night if they're also covered in glitter. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do my face makeup. I'll be back for lashes and eyeliner. Okay, so I decided just to give this a shot now because I don't think I want to do winged eyeliner or liquid eyeliner on top. I want to use this, see how it really works out. I took the cap off so I can actually use it now. But here's the gel eyeliner. How do you not make a weird face when you do this? It's going on really well. I was kind of worried how it was going to go on over the shimmer. But it's not skipping, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, nice. It's pigmented. I like it. Obviously, we have the other side that pops off. We could smudge it out a little bit. I just don't want to use it over shimmer because then it will be trapped eternally inside there and I don't know that I want to use that because it'll transfer onto every other look I try to smudge out. I suppose you could wash it, but that's also like, I'm not even trying to wash my makeup brushes at this point, so. Yeah, it's really nice. It's cute. I like the formula. I feel like I've been saying forever now that I wanted a new mechanical liner that actually performed well, so I'm really interested to see how this will work. I don't remember if it's waterproof or water resistant, but that's okay. Yeah, this is hard to do and talk at the same time, so I'll be back for the mascara. Okay, so typically when I wear mascara, I do use this primer. It's probably upside down. It's the Voluminous Lash Primer. 
I wanted the Lash Paradise one, but they didn't have it in stock. And I actually really, really like this one. So I think maybe we'll do one lash with, or one, one eye with, one eye without, just to see, you know, how it performs. Because this is something I would wear on the regular if I'm wearing mascara. So we'll just coat one eye here. The left one's my favorite eye because it just cooperates and it's been quiet for a while. Probably just jinxed that. But the right one has been having a lot of issues lately. I have the eye disease in both eyes, but the right one's just not, it's being a little brat. And it's very annoying and painful. So we'll let that one dry. I'm just going to start with the mascara on this side. This, this seems like it's going to be a little unwieldy. This is very large. I mean, it's kind of nice that it's a little thicker because I feel like sometimes with the thin mascaras, you feel like you don't have that much control. But also with this clear plastic component here, it feels kind of like fragile or it might slip out, but we'll see. I also don't remember if this is water resistant or waterproof, but we'll see how I just probably got that everywhere. We'll see how it wears the rest of the day. It's okay. I mean, I'm usually not one to live or die over mascaras regardless, but it does seem it seems like it's separating them. This is a flattering angle. Uh, not really building up so much. Maybe you need a couple coats of it. That just came off of here, so that's going to be annoying. I just don't like this component at all. It's building up somewhat. I mean, like, we're going to wear lashes anyways, but this would be nice to know you know, if I'd like to wear it on a no lash day, like if I'm going to work at the salon, I don't typically wear lashes because, you know, it's early. I work six days a week. These are all excuses, but I'm going to stick by them. It's fine. The mascara that is. It's okay. I mean, I don't have the longest eyelashes in the world regardless. So... I feel like I'm not going to get like this big dramatic reveal. It seems like with the formula, they want to stick up and be nice and look kind of curled. This is also the side I curled terribly. It's not much of a difference there. This is pretty much at the point where I'd start putting my mascara over the primer. I never usually let it dry all the way just because I feel like it grips a little bit better. Yeah, with the primer, I like it a lot more, but I'm still not like, holy crap, this is amazing. I do have the Lash Paradise in Waterproof, and I really do like that. I like the formula, and I like the brush. This has one of those brushes that's very, very flared out on the end. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But it's not really my favorite type. I think my all-time favorite type of spoolie would have to be Benefit's Roller Lash. There's just something about it that is so magical. And I love it so much. But yeah, even with the primer, I don't know. It's okay. It does the trick. It just feels like it's having a little issue gripping onto each lash. I'll let it dry. I'll probably do another coat at some point off camera, but that was my initial feeling about the mascara. I'm never going to use that curling end of it ever again. That was way too much, but I'm going to finish everything up. I'll be back for the lower lash line. Okay, so I have my face makeup on for the most part. I'm going to do the highlighter and the blush from that palette. So I did color switch this. It just, it just looks dirty. So going in with that blush from the Wander Beauty palette. Oh, she's pigmented. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to blend that out a lot. Oh, my God. Wasn't expecting that. 
<laughs> That's okay. And just so you're aware, the first time you use this, you're going to look very flushed and surprised. Oh my goodness. Okay. There's a lot on this one side here. But, um, I'm just going to blend it out. Good news is, it blends really nicely. I don't think this is going to go anywhere during the day either. The pigment sometimes blush just seems to disappear. I don't think we're going to have that problem. And, you know, maybe it's okay. So it's Valentine's Day and we're just looking a little rosy. A little more rosy than usual. But that's fine. We can live with that. And I was going to use the highlight here under my brow as well as just highlighting wherever. That's, that's pretty. I feel like it gives more like, um, like a glassy look rather than a very glittery look, which is great. I love that. Just find a brush here. That'll do. I'm going to color switch it just in case because it's probably dirty. I don't see like a lot of kickback flying off there, which is cool. Yeah, that's that like glassy highlight. I like that a lot. Pretty. A little bit of a gold champagne tone to it. Like, I'm not mad at that. That's cute. There's cats just jingle jangling everywhere in this room. There's an air conditioner on the other side of this TV that we use as a monitor. And I think she's just sitting there jingling. As you do when you're a cat. Yeah, that's real cute. I like that. That's pretty. Do I need all this highlight? No. Am I going to use it? Yep. Because it's cute. And why not? Everyone will be able to see me when there's dim light because I'll just be shining down the hallway. The cats will be like, whoa, what's that? I'll be like, it's my face, guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, she's just talking at the storm back there. I'm going to just blend that a little bit to make it not super stark. And like you never want just like a line of highlight. I mean, if you do, that's fine. I don't want that. You're just riveted, aren't you? I know. Cute. Love it. I'm going to use that gel liner to do my bottom lash line here. So it's like the water. That's nice. That just, this does apply really nicely. I am a fan. So I do the water line. I bring it out into the lashes just a little bit. I'm going to use that end to smudge it just to see how that goes. And my feeling is one of two ways it's going to smudge out nicely. Or it's going to just get huge and scary. But we'll see. I'm really happy with how this applies. Like, I really, really wanted a nice black eyeliner. It's taken a few boxes to get there, but we're there. Alright. The smudger part. This is a nice smudger too. Some of them are so hard you're just stabbing yourself. This has a little bit of give to it. It's a little flexible. Hopefully you guys can actually see what I'm doing. And it is smudging it out really nicely. It's giving it a little smoke. I'm going to obviously... Hey! Cats. I'm going to go over it 
with some eyeshadow, of course, just to make the look a little more conducive, connected, whatever. Make it flow a little bit better. I was thinking while I was doing, um, I was probably doing my base at this point, that mascara is probably going to be pretty good for my lower lashes. Just like the formula and the way the brush is, I think it'll be a lot easier and nice than my upper lashes. Okay, where's that flat brush? There it is. This is very stiff. So I'm going to use that darker brown right on the top there to do the lower. And I think honestly, maybe I'll follow the halo eye that we have going on top. I think that would be cute. So that lays on really nicely. I want to blend this out a lot. Also very hard to do this and talk at the same time, but whatever. So I'm going to leave the middle part blank just to have somewhere to put that shimmer. Yeah, I'm actually like really happy with these eyeshadows. So far the eyeshadows and the mascara I'm really, really into. Or not the, what? The eyeshadow and the eyeliner. The mascara, I'm not, no, over it. Not a fan. Maybe they have different formulas and brushes that I would like. It's just, this ain't it. Get a little bit of fallout, but nothing I can't deal with. Cute. Blend that. My, whenever I do my face makeup, I usually get the ends of these. When I do my concealer, like, they just disappear. So, honestly, I'm going to use this brush again for the shimmer on my lower lash line. I know I said I don't typically do that, but I will get it everywhere, I think. So go back in with that rose gold if you're reading my poster over there I'm gonna get you I mean obviously it's a little more muted down here because of the liner that's like right under it but I feel like there's still a shimmer that you can see. It's cute. I love rose gold. If I have the option of rose gold anything, please give me rose gold. Don't give me gold. Don't give me silver. I want rose gold. All right. I'm going to try out the mascara on my lower eyelash line. Eyelashes. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad on my lower lashes. It's not getting weird or clumpy. I like it down there. I just wouldn't buy a mascara specifically just for upper or lower lashes because that seems a bit excessive. Yeah, I like it. Looks nice. Doesn't make them super long or super thick. Just gives them a little definition, which is honestly what I'm looking for. So, um, I think I'm going to go for the more red toned lip liner. I don't even have a lipstick pulled yet, but 
Yeah, I think that'll go nice. With the eyes. It's a nice formula. I feel like it's not that far off of what my natural lip color is. Maybe I thought it would be darker. I don't know. It's cute. It's not entertaining at all to watch someone put lip liner on. I'm fully aware. But, um, I think this is, you know, pretty much it. I think I should probably blend the lower lash line just a touch. But I'm probably just going to put some lashes on. And that's pretty much the end of this for the try-on section. I am interested to see how all of this wears. I don't have high hopes for the mascara. Actually, like, I don't really, honestly, I don't care about the mascara. I just, it's there. I'm, I'm interested to see how the eyeshadow will wear. I am very interested to see how the eyeliner will wear. If it will go anywhere or fade or if it'll stay stuck in my waterline. And I'll see you guys in a few hours. I think it's probably close to 4 o'clock at this point. So probably not that long of a wear test, but at least some. I'll see you soon. Alright, so it's been maybe like four or five hours later and I wanted to do a little check-in see how everything is wearing I've been wearing my glasses so obviously I'm gonna have those wonderful marks let's see shimmer is still present it looks nice it doesn't really look like anything's faded the blush is still there the highlight for sure is still there um the eyeliner wore really well. Really happy about that. The lower lash line looks fine. I figured it would. Didn't really go anywhere. That's great. The lip liners I did take off because I ate dinner and I just did not apply. But they seemed fine. The formula didn't really budge or move around. Anything like that. So for the mascara, I'm going to say this is like a pass. Just because I'm not wild about the brush. I'm not really wild about the formula. I do not like this eyelash curler. It gave me unspeakable anxiety. And then it just did not work for me. Maybe it would work for someone else. This would be something nice to have, you know, if you're on the go or whatever. That would be great, I guess. The eyeliner. I really, really do like this. The formula is really nice. The application was really nice. Not a lot of tugging. It didn't really smear around as I wore it and I've got messed up eyes so I use a lot of eye drops so that's a win for sure the lip liners I mean they're fine I don't typically well I mean like I don't even wear lipstick really anymore just because I'm always wearing a mask but I I feel like these weren't anything that stuck out to me with the formula, with the color. I really like NYX lip liners. Um, I like MAC lip liners. I just don't really go out of my way to buy myself a bougie lip liner. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but these brushes, I don't know if it's just because I'm so in love with the, how cute they are and their sparkly little love hearts. They're so cute. I felt like they worked fine. I didn't use all of them just because I didn't really have a need to use all of them. The angle brush looks super fun. I'll have to try it out at some point. 
I'd, I would love to have every brush I will ever own in this packaging because it's just like this component is so freaking cute and I love it and it's going to give me hours of entertainment for sure. The palette, the eyeshadows, I really like the formula. The formula is great. Just the, the selection of color, I guess, I'm not the biggest fan of because, I don't know, I feel like I have these colors in a lot of other palettes that I've gotten, whether I've bought them myself or I've gotten them in BoxyCharm. I just feel like I own all of these. And while the highlight and the blush in the same palette is cool, it does take up a lot of space where you can't have more eyeshadow, like maybe like actual pops of color or something fun. The blush formula like really blew my mind. It was very pigmented. A little did go a long way, so I could see even this tiny pan lasting a very long time. Same thing would go for the highlighter. The formula is really, really pretty. I like the kind of glow that it gave. I like that it wasn't like a chunky sparkle. It was like a nice glassy glow, if you will. So that was pretty cool. I cannot wait to use the sleeping mask tonight. I'm so stoked for this. It smells really good. It has, you know, the benefits that they outlined in the description sound amazing. So I'm pretty excited about that. There's a cat in here. So I'd say all in all, this box was definitely a win. If nothing for these amazing, beautiful brushes that I just, I can't stop. It's so pretty and sparkly and like, oh, I love it so much. So thanks for giving me really distracting brushes. And I can't wait to see what we get in the next box. Um, yeah, happy Valentine's Day. How was your Valentine's Day? We ended up getting uh, burgers from a local place and watching a movie. Or, well, I watched the movie. He fell asleep. But it was a good movie. It was uh, PG, Psycho Goreman. I think I'm going to do a review on it. It's an enjoyable movie. Um, if you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and now TikTok at Reanimator. And I hope that everyone is having a wonderful February, staying safe, uh, staying occupied, not getting bored. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, Boom Boom. I have so much cat hair stuck in my makeup. I look like a ghost. What's she doing? You want to say hi? Your brother's still sitting over there. No one can see you. There you are. You look a pretty girl. Okay. Yep. I can't do too much if you're sitting here. Would you like some? Would you like some? Hmm? You're gonna fall. <laughs> Where are you going? Hey. Thank you. All right. Come on, baby. You want to go over here? No? Okay.